Thanks for watching part 2 of Utilizing eBay with Shopster. Now that you've successfully linked your eBay and Shopster accounts, you are now ready to sell more. On your Shopster homepage, go to the Inventory tab, and from the options underneath it, click on Warehouse. In a Shopster Online Warehouse, look for products to sell, via categories, keywords, or simply by typing it in. Let's say you're interested in selling poker chips. So you type it in in the search box. Type in poker chips and click search. Choose from the search results. And once you've decided on the product, click on the view product button under the image of your chosen product. A box with information on your chosen product will appear. From this box, Click on the eBay tab found at the far right. Scroll down. Feel free to check out the eBay notes listed. Is the product an eBay friendly product to sell or check its availability and supply? If you think it's okay, find the list on eBay button and click. From here, Shopster will let you edit more information on your chosen product. On the top box labeled General, click Change and select Fixed Price Listing and then click Update. Put in titles, again to help your customers get a clear picture on what you are selling. To link the product to your PayPal account, simply edit the product's payment method. A box will appear with the options PayPal, Personal Check, and Payment. Choose PayPal and on the space beside it, type your PayPal account address. Remember that if someone buys this product, the payment will go directly to the PayPal address supplied on this blank. So do not forget to put in your PayPal account information. And then click Update. You can edit the product detail at the bottom of the page. Type in the product brand or whatever you would like to say to make people want to buy it more. Whatever you do, do not delete the last part of the detail section that says, please note this is a pre-sale item and the rest of the sentence, as all shops or listed items should carry this signature. You should also remember to edit the pricing information. In this example, shops are prevented the creation of the listing because of pricing error. When this happens, simply re-edit the price information. From the handling fee to the suggested retail price, make sure that the start price will be higher than the warehouse price. If you fail to do this, Shopster will keep on preventing the create list action. Just plug in better values for the price, update, and then click the create listing again. Once you've chosen the create listing button, the next page will show you the initial eBay fees that you will have to pay for based on your listing options. In this example, aside for the eBay insertion fee, you are also paying $2 for choosing the bold listing enhancement. To save this much money, re-edit the listing enhancements and unmark whatever enhancement has been previously marked. Once this is settled, click the Create Listing button. Mark the box showing you understand your responsibility for the fees and click Confirm Listing. You will then see your product under the eBay listing section under the active categories where all the on sale items are being posted. To view your products in eBay, simply click on the hyperlink in this section and a new eBay window will open featuring your listed product. To learn more on utilizing eBay at Shopster, watch the next video on shipping a purchase. Thanks for watching. Shopster, the power to sell more.